Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the 4th of august the session will be very important and interesting so do pay attention till the end then friends be stronger than your excuse all right Always you should feel motivated when you are working towards a goal. Never feel demotivated. All right. And never give excuses when you are working hard. You should not give excuses while working. All right. Always be stronger than your excuses. Then friends, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you think our content is up to the mark, then like the video. Also, we have a target of achieving that is of 15,000 views on daily basis. Then for that purpose, we need your help. What can you do is you can share this link of this video to two to three WhatsApp groups that will help us to gain more views. Also, you can tell them about how good and how interesting current affairs are on this affairs cloud. We provide one of the best current affairs on the platform. All right. You can let your friends know about Vikas Rana sir. That is one of the best sirs in current affairs. All right. Also, friends, if you think that we are doing a great job and if you want us to continue making such content, all you have to do is comment below and let us know what do you think about such type of sessions. Here you can see, friends, here is the homework for 3rd August. All right. All the correct answer for the homework of 3rd August are given here by Anupriya. So congratulations, Anupriya. All your answers are right. And best of luck your future for any exam that you are preparing. I hope you clear that exam. Now, friends, let's move to the session. First, we'll discuss some MCQ and then we will be moving on to the news part. First is Rakhi Giri, which was seen in the news recently, is an ancient site located in which state? Rakhi Giri, first of all, tell me, where is this site located? Is it, it is located in Haryana, all right? I repeat, Rakhi Giri, where is it located? It is located in Haryana. If I ask you about Harappa, who founded Harappa? Harappa was founded by whom? Dayaram Sahani. Dayaram Sahani. Who founded Mohan Jodro? Mohan Jodro was founded by R.D. Banerjee. Alright, remember these two terms also. What is the name of the port that was found there? It was Lothal. Next, which ministries associated with the weapon of mass destruction and their delivery systems amendment bill of 2022? 
इट इज योर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स पार्लियामेंट हैज रिसेंटली पास द वेपन ऑफ मास डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड देयर डिलीवरी सिस्टम अमेंडमेंट बिल ऑफ 2022 मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स इंट्रोड्यूस द बिल इट सीक्स टू अमेंड द 2005 एक्ट एंड टू स्टॉप पर्सनस फ्रॉम फाइनेंसिंग एनी प्रोहिबिटेड एक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू वेपन्स एंड मास डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड देयर डिलीवरी रिमेंबर आर्टिकल सिक्सटी वन दिस इज रिलेटेड टू इम्पीचमेंट ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट इट वॉज टेकन फ्रॉम यूएसए ओनली ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट अचिंता शूली हु क्लेंश गोल्ड मेडल फॉर इंडिया इन कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इज एसोसिएटेड विद विच स्पोर्ट्स इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स ऑल द करंट अवेयर्स रिलेटेड टू कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स विल बी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू शुड डेफिनेटली टेक अ नोट ऑफ दैम रिमेंबर अंचिता शूली शी इज ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एज एंड शी हैज वन द गोल्ड मेडल फॉर इंडिया इन वेट लिफ्टिंग ऑल राइट इन द सेवेंटी थ्री के जी कैटेगरी सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए ऑल्सो रिमेंबर मीराबाई चानू हैज ऑल्सो सिक्योर द गोल्ड मेडल हेयर नेक्स्ट वेन इज द मुस्लिम वीमेन्स राइट डे ऑब्जर्व मुस्लिम वीमेन्स राइट डे इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ अगस्त ऑल राइट एवरी ईयर ऑन फर्स्ट अगस्त वी ऑब्जर्व मुस्लिम राइट्स डे ऑल राइट एंड द ट्रिपल त्राक इज ऑल्सो नोन एज तला के बिदात बट वाई वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिकॉज रिमेंबर दिस वीमेन्स राइट डे इज ऑब्जर्व तो वीमेन मुस्लिम वीमेन्स राइट डे इज ऑब्जर्व एवरी ईयर फर्स्ट ऑफ अगस्त टू सेलिब्रेट द इन्फोर्समेंट ऑफ लॉ अगेंस्ट ट्रिपल तलाक रूल ऑल राइट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ अगस्त देन विथ स्टेट साइंड एंड एम ओ यू विद नीति आयोग फॉर एनहेंसमेंट ऑफ लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विच इज इट इट इज योर अरुणाचल प्रदेश आई रिपीट अरुणाचल प्रदेश है साइन एन एम ओ यू विद नीति आयोग फॉर एनहेंसमेंट ऑफ द लर्निंग आउटकम्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हेयर रिमेंबर द गवर्नमेंट हैज साइन दिस सो दैट द स्टूडेंट्स अराउंड अक्रॉस थ्री थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट प्लस ऑफ गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इन द स्टेट कैन हैव अ बेटर आउटकम फॉर द लर्निंग ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स ऑल राइट सो अक्रॉस थ्री थाउजेंड प्लस गवर्नमेंट स्कूल इन द स्टेट ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश विल बी बेनिफिटेड दिस एम ओ यू इज अ थ्री ईयर पार्टनरशिप दैट इज फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव फोकसिंग ऑफ ओवर टू लैख स्टूडेंट्स इन द स्टेट The school education transformation project is under Niti Aayog's Development Support Services for States Initiative, that is D Triple S Initiative. Another way the question can be asked: A D Triple S Initiative, that is Development Support Service for States. This initiative was launched by which organization? It is Niti Aayog. Now, friends, it's time for your news part. Now, first we will be discussing about. सक्षम आंगनवाड़ी एंड पोषण 2.0 पॉइंट टू रिसेंटली मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वीमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट हैज इशूड ऑपरेशनल गाइडलाइंस फॉर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ सक्षम आंगनवाड़ी एंड पोषण टू पॉइंट टू दैट इज एन इंटीग्रेटेड न्यूट्रिशन सपोर्ट प्रोग्राम द गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज ऑथराइज द प्लान फॉर द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ड्यूरिंग द फिफ्टींथ फाइनेंस कमीशन पीरियड विच रन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू टिल ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सिक्स All right. If we talk about portion 2.0, remember the supplementary nutrition program under Anganwadi series, that is the scheme for adolescent girls, and portion of yarn has been have been integrated under portion 2.0. So what has been integrated under portion 2.0? It is your the scheme for adolescent girls, that is Anganwadi services and portion of yarn. Portion point two point oh shall focus on maternal nutrition, infant and young child feeding norms, treatment protocols for severe acute malnutrition. All right. Basically, in simple, we can say portion two point oh is basically to provide right amount of food, calories, nutrition to the maternal as well as to the small children, young children. All right. Highly important. then the anganwadi service remember is offered to all the eligible beneficiaries on demand regardless of caste religion and income criteria the only requirement is that beneficiary be registered at the nearest anganwadi center with aadhar card identification all right so coming back friends remember recently ministry of women child uh, women and child development has issued the guidelines for saksham anganwadi and portion 2.0 abhiyan that is an integrated nutrition support program highly important you should know about it here you can see everything about it next next we will be talking about indian oil indian oil has recently signed an mou with ntca that is your national tiger conservation authority for 
ट्रांस कॉन्टिनेंटल रिलोकेशन ऑफ चीता एन एस हिस्टोरिकल रेंज इन इंडिया एंड ऑल्सो स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव बिन स्टडिंग दैट इंडिया विल बी प्रोक्योरिंग एट चीताज फ्रॉम नामीबिया यस वी हैव बिन स्टडिंग अबाउट इट ओके सो दिस कम्स अंडर दिस ओनली रिमेंबर दिस इंडियन ऑयल कॉरपोरेशन हैज साइन दिस एम ओ यू विद एन टी सी ए फॉर द रिलोकेशन ऑफ दीज चीताज एंड रिमेंबर under this project 8 to 10 cheetahs will be flown in from namibia and south africa and will be introduced at kuno national park so remember it will be from namibia and south africa also that these 8 to 10 cheetahs will be flown and they will be introduced where at kuno national park and where is this kuno national park it is in madhya pradesh then if we talk about national uh, national tiger conservation authority who will be the chairperson here the chairperson will be bhupendra yadav and the headquarter of this ntc is in new delhi if we talk about tiger protection act when did it came it came in 1973 moving on next we will be talking about astronomy lab that is in bihar college has entered the unesco heritage list important friends all right we, astronomy lab has entered that is in bihar has entered into the unesco's heritage list important we are talking about unesco has added the 106 year old astronomical uh, astronomical observatory that is at the bihar college then the name of the college is langat singh college in muzaffarpur coming back astronomy lab in the bihar college that is the langat singh college has entered into the unesco's heritage list remember it directly friends if we talk about unesco who is the director general audrey osley is the current director general and unesco was established in 1945 and where is the headquarter it is in paris france all right then if we talk about this astronomy uh, lab remember this apps, uh, observatory was built in the year 1916 it is a 123 year old uh, laboratory and is now this uh, college is also 123 years old and now it has been affiliated to bhimrao ambedkar bihar university this is a first of its kind planetarium was also set up in the college in 1946 but coming back you have to remember astronomy lab in bihar college has entered into unesco's heritage list next next is namaste scheme for cleaning of sewers and septic tanks recently government of india has developed a national action plan for mechanized sanitization ecosystem and that is namaste i repeat national action plan for mechanized sanitation and ecosystem so this is your namaste this is the full form of namaste also national action plan for mechanized sanitation ecosystem here you can see the full form of namaste and you have to remember this scheme take a note of this and it is to achieve zero sanitation facilities in india and to ensure that all the sanitation workers are undertaken by skilled workers that all the sanitation work that is going on should be taken by the skilled workers only the namaste project is collaboration between the ministry of social justice and empowerment and the ministry of housing and urban affairs this namaste scheme will be implemented between 2022 to 2020 six and this will be implemented in 500 cities all right and townships also remember this has been notified under the amrit scheme that was atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation that is a m r u t then what was this amrit scheme the aim of this amrit scheme is to provide basic quality of life services to cities you have to remember this also amrit what is amrit it is to provide basic quality of life services to cities and what is the full form atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation all right i repeat you should first of all remember the full form of this namaste that is national action plan for mechanized sanitization ecosystem this scheme was launched by government of india for cleaning sewers and septic tanks and under this scheme the sewage work all the sanitation work should be taken by sanitized and skilled workers also only and it is in collaboration with two ministries name of the ministries you have to remember ministry of social justice and empowerment and the ministry of housing and urban affairs and this was launched under amrit scheme that is atal that was atal mission for rejuvenation and urban transformation it is and what was this mission it is to provide basic quality of life services to cities this was launched in 500 cities and it was it was launched from 2022 to 
<coughs> also students we have a very interesting news for all of you recently we have uploaded an interactive infographics on our application that is carriers cloud do check this infographics it is a very interesting way to learn it will save time and also help in building the memory capacity it is an interesting way to learn new things it will be available as pdf in the carriers cloud mobile application also friends do view this infographics and let us know in the comment section what are your views on such type of infographics Next, remember RBI, that is Reserve Bank of India's Financial Inclusion Index, increased to fifty six point four in March twenty twenty two, showing a growth across all the payment meters. Earlier in the month of March in twenty twenty one, the index was at fifty three point nine, and now the index is at fifty six point four after one year, that is in March twenty twenty four. What is this Financial Inclusion Index? Remember, it is published annually in the month of July. and this fi index shows the extent of financial inclusion across india by incorporating the details of banks investments insurance postal and public uh, pension sector in consultation with the government and sectoral regulators remember this does not have any base year and it comprises of three broad parameters excess with a weightage of 35% let me write here excess with a weightage of 35% usage with the 45% weightage and quality with a 24% weightage and this comprises of 77 indicators so you have to remember that earlier in the month of march in 2021 the index was at 553.9 and now this financial inclusion index has risen to 56.4 in the month of march 2022 this data is released every year in the month of july and recently remember there is no base year for this index moving on next next is e invoicing a must for entities with a turnover of 10 crore rupees and above from 1st of october 2022 i repeat government of india has recently made it compulsory that it has made e invoicing that is electronic billing compulsory for the businesses with a turnover of 10 crore rupees or above from 1st of october 2022 this is in done this is done in effect to further prevent the revenue leakage and ensure improve tax compliance from the businesses that means in order to for businesses to provide the right amount and fill the right amount of tax to the government so they should give right amount of tax to the government e invoicing that is electronic billing or electronic invoicing has been made compulsory for the businesses which have a turnover of more than 10 crore rupees that is turnover means the amount they are earning in one year that means a company that is earning amount of 10 crore of above in a year then they have to file this e invoicing it has been made compulsory electronic billing or electronic invoicing all right remember currently businesses with turnover of 20 crore rupees or above are required to generate an electronic invoice for business to business transaction but now for that 20 crore has been reduced to 10 crore all right by decreasing the required turnover legal level under the goods and service tax regime from 20 crore rupees to 10 crore the government has expanded the scope of electronic invoicing for enterprises government plans to make gst e invoicing mandatory for companies with a turnover of 10 crore rupees and then 5 crore in the current financial year So what is the aim here friends it is to digitize a higher volume transaction improve sales reporting transparency reduce errors and mismatches and automate data entry work and promote tax compliance e invoice is basically e invoicing prescribes a standard format of an invoice that a machine can read it is a system in which goods and service tax network electronically authenticates business to business invoices for subsequent uses on the common just gst portal that is your goods and service portal all right remember this next next is sebi sebi has recently structured the market data advisory committee that is mdac which makes policy recommendation pertaining to securities market data access and privacy the advisory committee on the market data will now have 20 members previously that this committee consisted of 21 members all right who will be the chairman of this 20 members committee he will be dr ms saho dr ms 
Saho will be the chairman of this market data advisory committee that was set up by SEBI. Remember this highly important. So question can be asked that market data advisory panel or committee was set up by which organization? It was by SEBI. It was restructured earlier. It consisted of 21 members and now it has 20 members. Who will be the chairperson? Dr. M.S. Saho will be the chairperson of this market data advisory committee. And he is a distinguished professor of the National Law University in Delhi. All right. Then remember, if we talk about who is the new appointed CEO of National Stock Exchange, he is Ashish Kumar Chohan is the current or has been appointed as the new CEO of National Stock Exchange. He will replace whom? Ashish Kumar Chohan will replace Vikram Limai. Vikram Limai. All right. And remember, Ashish Kumar Chohan has previously served as the CEO and managing director of BSE that is Bombay Stock Exchange. Moving on. Next, next is Insurance Deco. This Insurance Deco has partnered with Future Generally to offer pet insurance. All right, in order to provide insurance for pet, be it a dog, be it a cat, for them, insurance uh, will be provided by these two organizations. That is Insurance Deco and Future Generally. All right, so Insurance Startup Insurance Deco. All right, has partnered with Future Generally India Insurance Company to offer dog health cover. That is, insurance covers comprehensive coverage for over 25 breeds of dogs aged 6 months to 10 years. All right, so I'll repeat. This is just for dogs, not cats. These all comes under pet, but these this particular insurance given by Insurance Deco is for dogs and this is what this will cover under 25 species of dogs and this will cover the age dog of from 6 months to 10 years this will offer financial assistance to pet owners for towards hospitalization treatment of terminal illness surgery subject to certain terms and conditions it is expected that the market of this particular pet insurance will increase to about 490 million dollars by the end of 2022 and this will reach to 32.7 billion dollars by the year 2030 moving on next is in the cent bank they has they have partnered with rupee that is r u p y y and to offer paperless loans for used cars i repeat don't confuse it with rupee all right that is a different thing this is rupee all right in the same bank has partnered with rupee to offer paperless loans for the used cars so it will be direct and easy question friends that it is to offer 100 percent paper loans for used cars which two organization came together or which bank has partnered with rupee it was your in the same bank that has partnered with rupee that is a fintech arm to provide house loans or to provide 100% paperless loans for used cars. All right, moving on. So remember, as per the CGA, that is your Controller General of Accounts, India's fiscal deficit for April to June month for 2022 is at 3,51,870 crore rupees, 71 crore rupees. That is about 21.2% of the full financial year target. The full year's target is 16 lakh 61196 crore rupees remember this so friends you have to remember this data that 3.52 lakh crore rupees is the target uh fiscal deficit that has been achieved by india for april to june month that is 21.2 percent for the total fiscal financial year target that is around 16 lakh 61196 crore rupees moving on next Auguste Tano Kwame has taken over as the World's Bank Country Director for India. He will succeed Junaid Kamal Ahmad. I repeat, Auguste Tano Kwame. Remember this name, take a note of it. Alright, he has been appointed or he has taken the charge of the World's Bank's Country's Director for India. So, who is the new Country's Director for India of World Bank? He is Auguste Tano Kwame. And he will replace whom? He will replace Junaid Kamal Ahmad. Alright, Junaid Kamal Ahmad has recently completed 5 year his term and now for the next 5 years who will be appointed? He will be Auguste Tano Kwame and he is from which country? He is from Cote d'Ivoire. <coughs> he is from Cote d'Ivoire. Alright, he has served as the World's Bank Country Director for Turkey and now he will be Country's Director for India. Important. Next, remember 
He has also served as the director of the Department of Human Development and Economic Management in World Bank's Group Independent Evaluation Group from January 2017 to April 2019. Pre-joining to World Bank in 1996, he worked at the United Nations Development Program and taught applied economics in the Cote d'Ivoire country and France. All right. So, who will be the new country director? World Bank's new country director for India. He will be Agastya Tano Kwame, and he will replace Junaid Kamal Ahmed, who has completed five years. Next is CCI. That is Competition Commission of India has approved the proposal of four thousand five hundred crore rupees deal, wherein the Bandhan Financial Holding, that is a lead consortium, will buy stake in the IDFC Assets Management Limited and IDFC AMC. Trustee. The consortium consists of Bandhan Bank's parent BHF BFHL and private equity firm Chris Capital and Singapore Sovereign Fund GIC. But coming back, remember, friends, direct question you have to remember that CCI has cleared forty five hundred crore rupees deal between Bandhan Fin and IDFC. If we talk about CCI, who is the chairperson? Ashok Kumar Gupta is the chairperson, and where is the headquarter of CCI? It is in New. Delhi, highly important. Next, BOB, that is Bank of Baroda, will die in divest twelve point five percent stake in its insurance arm, India First Life Insurance Company. Die investment is it's just the opposite of investment. All right, so Bank of Baroda has approved the divestment of up to twelve point five percent of its share holding in its subsidiary, that is IFL, IFLIC, that is India First Life Insurance Company. All right. <clears throat> Highly important. BOB will also ensure that its stake in the IFLIC does not fall below fifty-one percent of the current paid-up equity share. BOB purchased twenty-one percent of Union Bank of India has increased its stake in the IFLIC from forty-four percent to sixty-five percent in the year twenty twenty. One. The remaining thirty-five percent is held by the Carmel Point Investment India Private Limited, that is owned by private equity funds managed by Wagbag Pincus LLC. So coming back, Bank of Baroda will divest or sell their twelve point five percent stake in its insurance arm, that is India First Life Insurance Company. Next, next is news related to sports. Recently, remember India has won fifteen medals in the ISSF World Cup. That is of rifle, pistol, shotgun, twenty twenty two. I repeat, India has won how many medals? India has won fifteen medals. Out of this, five are gold, six are silver, and four are bronze. Also remember, India has topped the medal list in the International Shooting Federation World Cup. All right, highly important. And this World Cup was for rifle, pistol, shotgun that was held in South Korea. This was held in. South Korea highly important also South Korea grabbed one bronze on the final day and concluded the tournament with 12 medals out of which four gold five silver and three bronze this remember this 2022 ISSF World Cup is the annual edition of the ISSF World Cup in the Olympic shooting event that is governed by IISF so in this particular World Cup who way which country top it was India with 15 medals Where is the headquarter of this ISSF? It is in Munich. All right, highly important. And who is the president of ISSF? He is Vladimir Lisin. Vladimir Lisin is the current president of ISSF. That is your International Shooting Sports Federation. And in this ISSF World Cup, who won? Who has topped the medal tally? It is India with fifteen medals. All right. Next, next, India will be hosting the twenty twenty five Women's ODI World Cup. That is one day international World Cup. Highly important. Which country will host the twenty twenty five Women One Day International World Cup? That is of cricket. It will be hosted by India. Highly important, friends. All right. Then, tell me who is the president of BCCI? He is Saurabh Ganguly. All right. Apart from this, remember if we talk about the T twenty World Cup. Who will host the T Twenty World Cup for the year twenty twenty four? It will be hosted by Bangladesh. So Bangladesh will be hosting the T Twenty World Cup that will be holding in twenty twenty four. Also remember the twenty twenty six edition of the ICC T Twenty World Cup will be hosted by England. So twenty twenty 
2024 T20 World Cup will be hosted by Bangladesh and T20 World Cup for the year 2026 will be hosted by England. If we talk about ICC, that is your International Cricket Council, this was founded in 1909. Where is the headquarter? The headquarter of this is in Dubai. And who is the chairman? Greg Barclay is the current chairman of ICC. Then FIFA World Cup for the year 2026 will be hosted by three countries. They are Los Angeles, Toronto and Mexico City. And in Los Angeles only, the so Summer Olympic Games for the year 2022 or 2028 will be held. Next, Swiss Open 2022 has been won by whom? Casper Rudd. All right. I repeat, Swiss Open 2022 has been won by whom? It has been won by Casper Rudd. He is from which country? Can you tell me? He is from Norway. Next, next we will be talking about a book that is Do Different the Untold Dhoni. I repeat, Do Different the Untold Dhoni. This book has been authored by Joy Bhattacharya and Amit Sinha. Next, remember some of the other books about Miss M.S. Dhoni. They are The Dhoni Touch, Unraveling the Enigma, that is Mahindra Singh Dhoni, authored by Bharat Sundarshan. Next is Captain Cool, The M.S. Dhoni Story by Gulu Ezekiel. Next, Think and Win Like Dhoni, authored by Sufurti Sahare. These are the other books that you need to remember, apart from Do Different, The Untold Dhoni, authored by Joy Bhattacharya and Amit Sinha. Next book is, remember, there are three books that were recently released. Union Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Anurag Thakur, has released three books showcasing some of the rarest photographs of outgoing President Ramnath Kovind and his predecessors. Alright, highly important, remember this. Then, these the books are Moods, Movements and Memories, Former President of India's, that is from 1950 to 2007, of Visual History. Second, First Citizen, Pictorial Records of President Ramnath Kovind's term. Third, Interpreting Geometrics, Flooring of Rashtrapati Bhavan. As you can see here also, the new President of India, she is Dropdi Murmu. She is the first tribal prime President of India and she is the second woman to be appointed as the President of India. India highly important. She is the 15th president of India and she has been elected through the 16th electoral actions of all right highly important data friends. Next is World Lung Cancer Day on 1st of August we observe World Lung Cancer Day then International Day of Friendship we observe this on 30th of July that is your International Day of Friendship. Next next is 84th CRPF Raising Day on 27th of July we observe 84th CRPF Raising Day day remember this also it is important all right <clears throat> next next is tamil nadu's chief minister mk stalin has launched an initiative for startups all right now not just tamil nadu we are seeing this uh, deal that is uh, startups in each and every states of india now even if we saw in hyderabad telangana we saw technology hub 2.0 then we saw research and development policy in karnataka what is this that we are boosting our ecosystem even we saw a, a semiconductor policy going on in gujarat what is this that we are boosting our ecosystem even bangalore is known as the silicon valley of india so coming back tamil nadu chief minister mk stalin launched an initiative for startups it is basically you can say it is to enhance the reach of initiatives of the government to tier 2 and tier 3 regions the initiative was launched in tamil nadu startup and incubator meet of 2022 and tamil nadu government is set to launch new startup and innovation policy to encourage new startup targeting socio-economic development in tamil nadu the last startup policy of tamil nadu was launched in 2018 and now remember new startup and incubators meets of 2022 will be also held that will help to boost the startup ecosystem in tamil nadu <coughs> All right. Then remember, the chief minister has also announced two other startups. That is community, uh, two other initiative that is community circles and incubator maturity model framework. The community circles will focus on spreading the art of innovation and entrepreneurship among the student and create success stories within the community. These circles are micro groups of 15 to 20 members comprising startups, entrepreneurs, mentors, investors, aspirants, students and others. Highly important. Alright. 
Also remember under this third edition of Tamil Nadu Startup Seed Grant Fund that is Tan Seed. Tan Seed. What is this? Tan Seed. It is Tamil Nadu Startup Seed Grant Fund scheme. The Chief Minister disbursed the first tranche of 1.55 crore rupees, providing 5 lakh rupees each to 31 startups of Tamil Nadu. Highly important, friends. All right. Next, that's all for the day. Now we will quickly revise all the current affairs in one liner format. MOWCD has issued the guidelines for Saksham, Anganwadi, and Potion 2.0. Indian Oil has, sent an MO, has signed an MOU with NTCA for transcontinental recollation, relocation of Cheetah. That is, India will be procuring 8 to 10 Cheetahs from Namibia. All right, highly important and they will be kept at Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh. Astronomy Lab in Bihar College has entered into the UNESCO Heritage List. Government of India formulates the Namaste Scheme for Cleaning Sewers and Septic Tank. RBI's Financial Inclusion Index rose to 56.4 in March 2022. GST e-invoicing mandatory for the entities with 10 crore rupees turnover from 1st of October 2022. Earlier it was compulsory for 20 crore rupees and in the coming years it will be compulsory for 5 crore turnover. Next is SEBI has restructured the Market Data Advisory Committee. Earlier there were 21 members and now there will be 20 members in this particular committee. Next, Insurance Deco has partnered with Future Generali to offer pet insurance to dogs. There will be 25 species of dog that will be provided with this particular insurance and this insurance will cover 6 months to 10 years of dogs. Indusind Bank has partnered with Rupee to offer paperless loans for used cars. 100% loan will be given on used cars. India's April-June 2022 fiscal deficit at 3.52 lakh crore rupees, 21% of the fiscal year 23 target. Auguste Tano Kwame has taken over as the World's Bank Country Director for India. He will succeed Junaid Kamal Ahmad who has completed 5 years of his term. Next, CCI has cleared 4,500 crore rupees deal between BFHL Constorium and IDFC and also has um, uh, approved the amalgamation between Shriram Group companies. Next, BOB Bank of Baroda is to divest that is they will be selling their investment of about 12.5% stake in its insurance arm that is India First Life Insurance Company. Next is ISSF World Cup Rifle Pistol Shotgun 2022 was held in Chongbon, South Korea and India has topped the medal tally with 15 medals. Next, India will host the 2025 Women's ODI World Cup. If we are talking about 2024 World Cup for T20, this will be hosted by England. And if we are talking about the 2026 T20 World Cup, it will be hosted by England. And for 2024, it will be hosted by Bangladesh. I correct myself. For 2024, it is Bangladesh that will be hosting the T20 World Cup for uh, T20 World Cup, all right, and for 2026, it will be England that will be hosting the T20 World Cup. And if we are talking about the 2025 Women's ODI, that is One Day International World Cup, will be hosted by India. Next, Casper Rudd has won the 2022 Swiss Open in Switzerland. A book titled Do Different the Untold Dhoni was authored by Joy Bhattacharya and Amit Sinha. Then, MOIB has released three books that is present first copies to former president Ramnath Kovin. These three books were basically on the former presidents of India also. They contain the pictures and important very less few seen uh, and very important pictures of former presidents of India even Ramnath Kovin's. Next, World Lung Cancer Day observed on 1st of August, International Day of Friendship observed on 30th of July, 84th CRPF Raising Day on 2nd of July and Tamil Nadu's Chief Minister has launched initiative for startups. This is important friends and I want you all to make notes when we discuss this particular just few minutes back. So do take a note of this. Alright, also remember Tan Seed. What was Tan Seed? That was released by Tamil Nadu's Chief Minister. It was Tamil Nadu Startup Seed Grant Fund and this grant will be dispersed among the startups in this the first tranche of 1.55 crore rupees was uh, distributed provided to startups and for each startup an amount of 5 lakh rupees were provided to 31 startups of tamil nadu all right so that's all for the day friends now it's time for your homework first question is who has been named as the new managing director and chief executive officer of the national stock exchange Next, the Crafts Village Scheme is an initiative of which union ministry? 
थर्ड छाबर पोर्ट विच वॉज सीन इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली इज लोकेटेड इन विच कंट्री नेक्स्ट विच स्टेट इज द वेन्यू ऑफ द इंडिया ओमान ज्वाइंट मिलिट्री डील अल नजा नेक्स्ट हु इज द हेड ऑफ द टास्क फोर्स रिसेंटली सेटअप बाय द सेंटर टू मॉनिटर मॉन्की पॉक्स सिचुएशन इन इंडिया ऑल्सो यू हैव टू टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द वैक्सीन और डेवलप फॉर मंकी पॉक्स इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स ऑल राइट आई वॉन्ट टू सी द नेम ऑफ द वैक्सीन ऑल्सो देन ओनली आई कंसिडर दैट यूएस यू हैव रिटर्न द और गिवन द करेक्ट आंसर सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डे फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड आर सेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंटिन्यू विद आस इफ यू वॉन्ट एस टू कंटिन्यू विद सच सेशन ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज कमेंट बिलो एंड लेट एस नो वॉट आर योर व्यूज ऑन सच सेशन एंड फ्रेंड्स यू नो आर टारगेट दैट इज टू अचीव फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड व्यूज ऑन आर डेली videos so for that you have to share this video to two to three whatsapp groups on daily basis be it your friends be it your cousins be it your relatives what that will do is also you have to tell them that yes affairs cloud is one of the best current affairs platform that is a one stop solutions for current affairs and on that platform vikas rana sir is teaching the current affairs in a best way he is the best teacher for current affairs and you should let them know you should make them aware about our platform So that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day That's all for the day friends I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue